so I have no idea where this is going to go. I just decided this morning to do some art journaling. Um, so I'm just going to see where this takes me because um, this is really just for fun and I just want to uh, just get more creative and just, just find just find a moment with my colours I think so I'm just using some um, I can't remember what these are called now but they're almost like a pastel that I can add water to um, I don't, no I don't have any more colours so as I say I'm just going off the top of my head I'm not thinking about anything at all I'm just having fun in the moment I'm just gonna see where this this goes and the nice thing about these uh, the paper castell um, you can add water to them so it becomes much more of a, a fun moment So I've decided to do this every day, so I have just no idea what's going to happen or how this is going to develop. And it's just a case of, of letting go and not judging what's on the paper at all <clears throat> I don't even know if some of these pens work and I don't be wanting to <coughs> to layer this up after I don't even know what I've got in my kit <laughs> Some of this stuff I've just picked up over the years and I have just no okay, yes the paint is coming down. And this is just the beauty of doing um art journaling. Is that this is for nobody, it's not for showing, as though that I'm actually showing this on you. But it's just a moment when you can get out your your creativity without thinking that somebody's going to see it. You're going to get judged by it. Um, this is not at all. This is just just for you. And right now, it's it's for me and, and you on this camera. Um, as I said, I'm also using paints that I I haven't used for years. So I've got no idea what state these are in. <laughs> and this is kind of part of the surprise, really. It's just seeing seeing what's going. Um, maybe I should have been better prepared, but you know, hey, this is this is live, this is real. Um, I'm not judging myself on this either. This is really, you know, as real as it gets. These are just some old watercolour tubes I've had laying around for years. And what I'm going to try and do as well as I could do with my acrylics is, is layer this up so that what you're seeing here is not the, the final the final product. I'm just laying as a base really and just seeing where it takes me. But at least <laughs> I'm also sorting out my paints at the same time. <laughs> I'm just wanting to get some kind of base going so that from this I can layer on top. 
and I've never layered with with watercolors before. I've never worked with acrylics, so this this is a really first big time for me. So let's just see where this goes. I'm just really having some some real fun right now of just getting what's out there. Some of these paints of mine are quite old, so I don't even know. As I said, I don't know where these are really going to take me. But right now, for me, it's just getting some base effects there that I can build upon, and and just it's really just mucking around and and trying and seeing what's happening. I might just get some of my acrylics out. Excuse me if I'm a bit all over the place for you. Um, Blues always have to come in in some way. I always have to get my blue paints in. So it looks like acrylics are going to be around here. Um, and I love the, these paintbrushes as well because they just they give so much more of a lighter effect. So there's absolutely no thought in this at all and just really go with the idea of a child of, of like just just having fun i'm just thinking my, my thoughts are thinking oh that's nice that's a nice effect oh and that is really that's all that's in my head right now um and it, oops and it's the same as when i do my my normal painting um there comes a moment when it feels right to stop. And today it's it's really just about um, opening up to creativity. And this is me, it's going to be starting a new habit really. Um, I normally have my hair dryer. I might have to get my hair dry out so I can dry my paints. <laughs> I'm going to put in my hair dryer. As you can see that this is really live you know that there's no I'm not pretending <laughs> it's all completely there and I, I just really want to show you you know how how easy this can be when we don't judge ourselves and we just go in for the for the for the fun of it for the hell of it just to, to see what happens and the thing about creative journaling this is not about doing something it's not about making a pretty picture every day it's about getting your creative juices going and so that you're getting in your place of of no judgment um which will actually help you when you come to doing um you know that the bigger picture uh when you want something to actually display that you won't be in this place of um that's really bad i can't do it this is just about having having fun and, and getting into the into the space where you'd like to be in the future. I don't often use really thin brushes, but this might be. I 
And as you can see, I'm, I love spirals. And to me, spirals are, all seem to be obviously connected to energy, um, getting into the zone, getting into the vortex. And they're a great way of playing with colours as well together. So if you're still with me, that's great. Because <laughs> some people may just turn off and think, and what is she painting? But, you know, that's that's totally fine. I'm just showing you how to how to build up and, and how to let go. And, and the fact that I came here with no idea. And for some of you, it can be quite hard at first. And the way to get over that is just to paint your picture, paint your paper in one colour. <clears throat> just so that there's no more white there, so you're not frightened about filling in and doing something. And it just gets you connected to the paper, which I think is a really important part of the journey. Because once you're connected to that paper, it will guide you. You know, and it's like, you know, the paper's like, a representation of the soul for me it's really the the outward image of the soul so once you're connecting to the paper for me you're connecting to your soul um, and once you make that connection there's, there's like a bridge that's made um, when things have to start to flow and that's when the, the beauty starts to happen really And this is why, you know, it's it's not coming from judgment because otherwise it's like we're judging our very own soul and if we're judging ourselves, how can we expect the world not to judge us if we're, you know, for that way? It's really, exp it's um, allowing your soul to express without thinking. It's like, you know, for some people they, they channel, they channel words or they channel music. And it's getting into that space of complete and utter trust of, of total letting go. And just thinking, well, it doesn't matter if I don't understand right now. It's like it's like speaking a different language. It's tuning in to your soul's own language. Uh, and once you understand that, you completely allow it to come through. And at one point you become fluent in your soul's language. And I just love these these swirls. It's uh, I'm just gonna dry it so the colours don't mix too much. What I find when I'm when I'm drying with the hair dryer and I put my fingers in like smudge the, the paint, it creates texture because the paint is drying as you're moving it. So it creates lumps and bumps. So you know it's it's like when you when you you know, I'm all about language as well. I do I do English language coaching for the French and it's like when you first learn a new language, you're frightened of making mistakes, you're frightened of being misunderstood or not being able to understand what the person in front of you should say. In. And those first few times are really, you don't, you don't really want to speak, you're judging yourself, you're frightened of being judged. And this is exactly the same process. It's really um, of learning your soul's language. And that, for me, is really what art's all about. It's it's getting in tune. Excuse me while I just rummage around in my my things to get the the right colours. Um, 
it's um, good as I'm seeing so many correlations now between between language learning and this. Um, when we first learn a language, we're into technique. We're trying to find the grammar and the structure, and I think that's when people are trying to paint. They're trying to to find the technique of what colours go together or the, the light, etc. And when you learnt your, nat your native language, your maternal language, you were really just coming from the heart. You didn't know about technique or, or grammar, whatever. You just went with it and you weren't worried about making mistakes. Well, if you transfer that into the painting, um, it's the same thing. It's it's getting into that heart space where we're not worried about technique. We're going global. We're going into the heart. And we're just allowing the heart to speak. Whatever mistakes we think it's making, um, we're just allowing that space for it to come through. And this is what creative journaling is all about. It's It's writing out what your heart's trying to tell you until you actually begin to understand what it's saying. And it's 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 very interesting because I've I've just never really I'd I'd used paints before from for helping people to speak languages better, but I've actually realised that, that there's so much more to it than what I thought. That this really is a, the, um, the the language of the soul. And it's just as you're learning, like learning a new language, you're just trying to find out what, what it's trying to say to you. Um, but given that time to come through. I don't know if you from above can see more than, than what I'm seeing from, from this level. <laughs> You're probably seeing it in a completely different way than I am, which is great. You know, we all have different perspectives on, on life. So it's very funny because I had realised that a friend told me that I'm... Um, like a, a linguist, a linguistic artist, and I kind of got it, but not to this point. Um, and really talking to you through this, it's really helped me to understand that this is what's happening. And we we don't need to understand um, at a conscious level what's being said through the painting. This isn't necessarily about looking at the the language of what's being said. Your heart understands, you understand at a soul level what, what's coming out. Um, I mean, often when I do my normal paintings, I, I take photos of each step and I look through. But not this time. And I think I'm just going to go and choose, I'm going to go and choose an oil, an essential oil to put in my paint. And two just completely just sprang to mind as I was on the way to go and get them, which is lavender and spearmint. Um, <clears throat> lavender is really for not being in fear of, of communicating spearmint as well. Um, for not being judged about what we're saying. And spearmint is really about talking to the, the public and the presentations. Doing like things like presentations or talking to the public, <laughs> which is not by chance that I've just chosen those two for this. Um, wow, the, the smell of spearmint. I used to hate the smell of spearmint. It used to make me feel sick. And now it's it's quite okay, really. I'm just, no, I'm not going to. I'm just going to work those colours through the, those words through the paint. I can imagine by the time I really got this, this journal up and going it's going to be such a beautiful smell wow the smell already it's amazing Oof.
So it's almost like a, as a meditation process, really. You know, if we're doing this every day, we're just allowing things to come out that's probably been stuck inside that we didn't know were there. And as you can see, each layer is so different. <laughs> I'm just going to dry that a minute. building a little bit of texture in here now. Sometimes I love putting my fingers in. You just feel really, this, you really feel the connection to the paper once you, if you drag your, your finger over the paint, it's like the, the vibration comes through so strong. And it's it's like things come alive when when you start you kind of speed things up. It's uh, it's it's like you know suddenly you, you can't get it out quick enough. <laughs> um, sometimes I have barely had a chance to to get the paint out before, you know, my fingers dying to get back on the paper again. And as I said, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, if we understand or not what's being said with the painting because that's not the point um and it's like people who who do like automatic writing i think you, it gives you a while before you really get into the, the flow of it your your heart has to know that, that there is a way to communicate and the more you do it the more it, it begins to trust that this door is opening up to to let things out And as you see that there's there's no there's no thought behind what I'm doing. I'm just going with with what I feel without hesitating because once we start hesitating, we can really get into the into the thought process. And for me that kind of interrupts where we we're wanting to go. I mean, obviously, it took me a while to really get to this place where I really was letting go. My first paintings were very structured um, in lots of squares and filling up boxes. And then over time, I began to trust the process even more. And I think that will probably be the same for, for most people watching on here. And that's totally OK. You know, we're, we're all at different places in this process. And what has really come to light for me is just doing this has just really helped me understand exactly what I'm doing. So behind this linguistic aspect, which is, is pretty amazing, really. I, did, I never really thought that that would come out. So and maybe that's what my painting has needed to tell me today. I'm just going to try this again. about the noise I'm just rummaging around in my in my paint box what the heck am I white
if you imagine, if you remember how this was at the start of the process, it's nothing like the end. <laughs> and that's just so what I love about this. We just we just have no idea where this is gonna take us. Um oh goodness, I love this turquoise. It's really just just letting this go and letting it you know let it come out and there's times when we go through the layers and oh my goodness I don't like this and that's okay because you know you're going to cover it up and when you when you do cover up your brain your brain suddenly starts letting go because it realizes well it doesn't matter if it makes a mistake or it's horrible because you're going to paint over it so it really lets go and think, that, okay, just, just, let's just get the shit out of here because you're going to cover it up anyway. And that, that's really what it's about. The more it trusts you, the more it will let go. And it's like a friend opening up to you, you know. The more you listen, the, the more they're going to open up. And I think this is almost finished for me. <clears throat> The only thought process that really goes through my head is that sometimes I see that somewhere it's a little bit dark and just need a little bit more colour. Like for me, there, there was too much purple, it was it was a little bit too dark. So I'm just bringing in the light, um, which is kind of like it in life, really, you know. You want to, to bring in the light where it's dark. You know, the darkest part of the the final picture. We want to help that dark heal by using the light and it makes a complete um, yeah, complete picture really. And for me there was a point where it, it feels like it's in harmony. There's a complete coherence between the, between the colours and that's when I know it's my painting has come to the end. It's really getting, it's like that there's a, a mini picture in, in each part of the page. And I, I love the textures that are coming through. This is, you know, the, the beauty of it. When you really start layering up and drying. Really good to see the texture coming through. So a little bit more blue in there. And then we're up. Almost done. I think I'm going to just use my like to do after that all right that it just brings out the it kind of lifts off the paint the few bits of hearts in there shared in the world 
And I think for me, I think I'm going to leave that there. Almost. <laughs> Almost. But not quite. parts of it more with the white to kind of highlight them slightly. And they're like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't want to do much more to it. I'm just, yeah, because after it might just, might just spoil it. But I do like how this paint just plays over the textures, over the, the lumps and the bumps. And it's like in life that, you know, the, the texture of life, that's what makes us. It's not the, the smoothness that makes us, it's the texture. So there we have it, um, that's my first journaling of the day and of the week and I want to do this every day and I want to kind of really build this up so it becomes this beautiful thick smelly paint. Thank you for watching, um, you can find out more about me on uh, nickypeat.com N-I-C-K-Y-P-E-E-T -E dot com and you can find out all that I do about painting and energy healing and emotions. Thank you.